Hello everybody, my name is Phoenix Fire and welcome to Pokemon White 2. Yes, now this is a very special playthrough. Oh, I love that noise. Yes, in this one it will be another Nuzlocke challenge. Yes, now uh, if you remember I did a Nuzlocke challenge on uh, Pokemon Platinum and that was doing rather, rather well until unfortunately uh, we got knocked out during the, um, during the Steel Diem challenge. But yeah, this right here is Professor Juniper. Um, she's a professor of the uh, Unova region. And that right there is a Chinchino. Um, yeah, Chinchino is a normal type. And it's so adorable. <laughs> but it can be a pain in the butt if you uh, know how to use it properly. And it can. Uh... Yeah, she's basically telling you... Um, all the stuff that you know all the professors tell you and things um, but yeah now the most one of the important questions are you a boy or a girl well I am a little girl you're a girl right yep I'd like to know your name now please tell me I'm so so gonna fail here. I'm so so sorry if it takes forever. Where's the end? Okay. Your name is Phoenix? Yep. So your name's Phoenix. What a wonderful name. Yeah, now that would be our rival. Um, His name is actually Hugh. But, yeah, we're going to pick his name as well. Uh, wow. Hmm. Well, I really do not know his, what his name's going to be. Um, yes, I do. Hang on. I cannot spell so sorry if this is not correctly spelt. Damien, did I get that right? Yeah, I'm gonna call this uh rival character Damien. Um pretty much because it sounds like a badass name to be honest. Yeah, let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Oh yes, and also for those of you that haven't played a Pokemon White 2 before, um, basically the Pokemon Black and White games, what they did with that is um, they implemented kind of like a, uh, a seasons system where the environment and everything changes with it. Now you know in the winter all the trees will be snowy, all the houses would have patches of snow on them, the ground would too. And plus the environment itself would be a bit darker than usual, which is awesome, but unfortunately they've never done it again <laughs> since. Hopefully they'll do that in the sun and moon, but I don't know. Also this music is beautiful. Oh, hello. Hmm? Oh, hi. Why, Ori Juniper? It's been far too long. What can I do for you? Da da da. Wow, a Pokedex? For my child? Well, that's great. I think a journey would be a wonderful experience. And now, she's already here? Oh, for Pete's sake, you never change. Once you decide on something, you just start going. Okay, Bianca. Okay, Bianca, right? A big green hat. Got it. Okay, no worries. Yeah, now basically, instead of the professor giving us our starter Pokemon, um, a character from the original Black and White games will be giving us our Pokemon this time. There's our character there, by the way. To our mother. Do you know Professor Juniper? She's a famous Pokemon researcher. Actually, she's an old friend of mine, and she called me today for the first time in ages. 
This is out of the blue, but Phoenix, do you want to have a Pokemon? Yes. <laughs> yes, please. Okay, step one completed. Well then, do you know what a Pokedex is? Yes. <laughs> I knew you would. Isn't it amazing how it automatically records your Pokemon you encounter? Yet another question. You want a Pokedex, right? Yep. Step 2 completed. Phoenix, your course of action has been set. A girl named Bianca has to come here and meet you. She's Professor Juniper's assistant. I was told to simply, for, to simply look for a big green hat. That's right, you're going to go look for Bianca. And then you'll get a Pokedex and your Pokemon will be your partner. Oh, your ex transceivers in your bag, right? You know to open your bag? Yeah. The girl's name is Bianca. I was told that you should look for a big green hat. She might be lost because this is her first time here. Go look for her. Alright then, mother. Now we'll see the beautiful town that we live in after talking to a few people. The power of science is amazing. Now I can use communications to play with 100 people at the same time. Yeah, technology is raising at a scary rate. Hi, Phoenix. Hey, you get a Pokemon yet? The might need a Pokemon trainers around here and I'm getting bored. What's that? A person named Bianca is giving you a Pokemon? Really? Phoenix, if you get a Pokemon, take really, really good care of it, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's get your Pokemon. There's something I have to do. And to do that, I need someone I could trust besides my partner Pokemon. A person I could trust. That's right, I'm talking about you. You seem like you've got good instincts. You head home. Okay, big brother. Bye bye, Phoenix. Alright, let's go find that person named Bianca. Yep, let's go. Okay. Now, yeah, luckily I know where um, Bianca is because, well, yeah, the first time I played this, I was looking about for ages. Oh yeah, by the way, that's the Pokemon Center in these games now. It looks so pretty. Yeah, we just go up here. Can we run yet? No. Go up the steps and... Bianca should be waiting for us up there. Oh, I get it. That'll look as a spur to the most famous spot. I'll bet Bianca is up there looking at the scenery. Come on, go get your Pokemon already. Okay, Damien, be a bit patient. And yes, this is Bianca. <laughs> if you play black and white one before, you'll recognise her, but... It's so pretty! Hey there, don't you agree? Oh, my name's Bianca. I'm the assistant of the Pokemon Professor, Professor Juniper. By the way, I'm looking for someone. Do you know a person named Phoenix? Yes. Oh wait, you're Phoenix. Wow, you're exactly like what I heard. Nice to meet you. I have a really important request to ask you. Will you help us complete the Pokedex? Yes, okay. Oh wow, thanks. Your support will help Professor Juniper's research move forward. Anyway, filling up the Pokemon is totally fun. Alright, can I... Okay then, ta-da! And here's the Pokemon that'll be your partner. Choose the Pokemon. Now we'll go for the Fire-type Tepig, the Water-type Oshawott, or the Grass-type Pokemon Snivy. Um... Well, I've thought about it before this uh, nose lock, and I'm going to pick Snivy. Yes. Phew. 
Phoenix chose Snivy. Oh wow, you and Snivy are a perfect match. By the way, would you like to give a nickname to your Pokemon? Well, since this is a Nuzlocke, I kind of have to, but yes I would. Yes, now I'm going to go... Oh, this Ivy, this Snivy's a boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well. Well, I always said to cry a phoenix that, uh, that when I do my... T my season's Pokemon team, I'm going to call the uh, the awesome one Crisp. Or Crackle, but yeah, Crisp sounds cuter. Is this a nickname you want? Yes. Crisp, that's such a great name. RIP headphone users. Now you've got your Pokemon, I'll give you this. A Pokedex! Okay, Bianca, calm down, buddy. Phoenix receives a Pokedex. You know what that does? The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you counter. So Professor Juniper wants you to carry this Pokedex, visit a lot of places, and meet all the Pokemon of the Unova region. Yeah, cool. Now pretty much we just walk down here, I think. Hey, how long are you planning to keep me waiting anyway? Hey, what's that? So it's your partner, huh? That's great. My sister already said so, but take really, really good care of your Pokemon. Got it? What's that you're holding there? It's a Pokedex! Please give me a Pokedex too. I want to get stronger. If I have a Pokedex, I can learn more about Pokemon. That'll make me tougher, right? Um, who are you again? I'm Damien. I'm going to travel the Unova region with my Pokemon partner in order to search for something very important. <clears throat> Plot. Well, okay. I don't really get it, but going on a journey is always good. Anyway, I just happen to have another Pokedex on me. Convenience! <laughs> it looks like Pokemon distribution has already changed compared to two years ago. <laughs> so the more the merrier. Oh, I thought of something cool. You both have Pokemon, right? Why don't you have a Pokemon battle? Yeah, so we just walk up to Damien here. Oh, wow. Let's see how good a trainer you are. I use my Tepig that I raised from an egg. You literally just got that Tepig. But alright. Anyway, yeah, this is the uh, rival battle music. It's pretty awesome, right? So no Tepig. Mm -hmm. I think I use Leah, first of all. First Tepig, low defense. First Tepig, use Tackle. Oh, ouch. Crisp, use Tackle. First Tepig, use Tackle. Is this just going to be a Tackle match? I won't forget the pain you just put my partner through. I'm sorry. Tail Whip, good. That gives us a chance to get ahead a bit. But that will lower my defence. But. Yes! The first epic fainted! Thank god, otherwise, this will be a very short nuzlocke. Woo! Da 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 ding! Yep, Crisp grew to level 6. Ooh! Plenty defeated trainer Damien. I couldn't achieve victory for my partner. I won't let myself forget this. Phoenix received 500 poke for winning. Thank you. I lost. This is different than battling with wild, wild Pokemon. Well, whatever. I'm just happy to know you're a trainer I can count on. Cool. I'm heading off first. Get stronger. Alright. The Pokemon on both sides did their best. But this little one is still weak, so battle with it to make it stronger. 
Alrighty, let's go make your Pokemon better at the Pokemon Center. It's like the best place ever for Pokemon Battle to get hurt. So, in case Pokemon Battle get hurt, no. The Pokemon Center is the same no matter where you go. Let's go inside. Oh yeah, also a new feature that they changed um, in the Black and White series is that in the Pokemon Center you have a shop as well as the actual Pokemon healing bit so you don't have to look around for a shop and a Pokemon Center which is pretty freaking awesome I'll hear your Pokemon how many Pokeball for a sec? okay oh I love that music next I'll explain the PC this square thing is a PC and each trainer is free to use it you can deposit Pokemon on it also, you can withdraw Pokemon from it. The next thing is over there. The awesome new thing of the shop. This is a Pokemon. He can buy and sell many different items. The Pokeballs you use to catch Pokemon because also it bought a Pokemon. Here, Phoenix, I'll give you some Pokeballs. Awesome. <laughs> i use those on the next video. Next up, I'll show you how to use these Pokeballs. Follow me. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think uh, we'll uh, leave this episode here for now. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. That would be amazing. And actually, now until the next video, um, it'd be awesome if you could give me nickname ideas in the comment section below. But yes, until next time, have a good one. Bye.